Hey everyone, this is Jason with Present Street Market, and today I have an exciting unboxing, a vintage um, mystery jewelry unboxing. Um, I don't, some of the things, when I open the box just now, some things are labeled on the top, some aren't, so we kind of know what we're getting, but then we kind of don't. So I'm very anxious to get into it. This comes from a viewer. <laughs> Um, to the channel here. She said in her things to be um, unboxed and then sold in, in my auctions. So um, thank you so much for that. If there is anyone out there and looking to sell their jewelry, and I prefer more on the vintage, rare side, reach out to me via email. My email is in the description box below. Reach out there and we will go from there and I will explain the process to you. So if this is your first time here, we do mystery jewelry unboxings. This is where I um, unbox things that either I have purchased um, from various places all over the world or consignments that also come in from all over the world um, from, from different um, customers, also from um, viewers here to my channel. So let's get into it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Look in the description box. Um, underneath this video, it has all the links to where I'm at on specific days of the week, where you can catch me selling. Um, I don't do any selling here on, on YouTube, so I will say that up front. Um, you have to find me on either my uh, main auction or my um, auction platform that I use on whatnot. So let's get started. Made in West Germany. be like unwrapping Christmas gifts. Oh, I have never seen these like this before. These are like an AB coated acrylic or plastic with that mold line. Um, and then there's your closure, West Germany. That's cool. Some space up here. So one might have broken off here or there, but... Um, that's a very cool Miriam Haskell. Mm. That'd be like Christmas. <clears throat> come out, come out. There you are. Oh yeah, that's Miriam Haskell all day long. Very, very uh, Miriam Haskell-esque. Very signature. There's her. There's her mark. This is very Miriam Haskell, very in her style. And believe it or not, this one doesn't seem to have much verdigris at all. So that's great because Miriam Haskell is badly known for having lots of verdigris. 1950 stone bracelet. It's a beautiful AB, unsigned, but that's okay. It's still gorgeous. Yes, it is. Oh, I hate this cotton. All right, I think the box said this is one is Emmons. So we've got this sort of gold stone thermoset. Here's the back. Very pretty. And then we've got the earrings to match. Yep, and they're signed Emmons. So beautiful, like, faux gold stone. And I do recycle boxes and things like that. Vintage necklace. She's cute. She's very cute. I'm gonna leave her in there. This one says Kenina. Oh, yeah. That's good. Beautiful piece. Look at that. It's going to look gorgeous on a white neck for pictures against a white bust. It's going to look beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to say it again, but this is like Christmas. Oh man. Oh, I love that closure. This has gotta be something good. This has got to be somebody special. 
You're telling me you're unsigned. What the H? What the H? Well, maybe we are signed. Nope. Nothing there. This is definitely like a couture runway piece. I will figure this out. I will figure out the maker. This is special. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, honey. Oh, Trifari necklace. That's what the bag says. Yep, Crown Trifari. And those are glass. That's beautiful. Nice little... Oh, gosh, that's also Crown Trafari. How interesting. And the chain's probably Trafari as well. I haven't seen that one before. I love to see the different um, varieties of Crown Trafari. I love Crown Trafari. Okay. Flat finding. So it's 14 karat. Yep. That's a 14K closure. And then the spring ring should also say 14K or 585. Yep, and it says 585. Let me see, because she was wanting to see what it said. So I'm going to zoom in so the person who sent this in can see. If I can pick it up. There it is. Well, heck. Well, Sorry, sister, it may not work out, but you can see right there, it's 585. And 585 is also the Hallmark for 14K. There we go. So, 585 is 14K, 750 is 18K, 417 is 10K. And these are genuine pearls, that's a nice one. Oh, it's like a vintage Sarah Coventry ring display. That's groovy. I wasn't expecting this to actually be a vintage box. How wonderful. <laughs> Look at this. Mm. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Let's see if it doesn't glow. Let's see if we're signed. No signature. I have an idea of who made it, but I'm not sure. I'll do my diligence. But that's lovely. Loving it. Swarovski crystal. Yep. Oh yeah, so the swan's inside of there, you can see it. Beautiful, beautiful, they kind of look like Christmas earrings. So a lot of people have been asking me about Christmas jewelry, I'm really not interested in it. Um, I don't have a market for it, unfortunately, no matter what time of year it is. Even special pieces like I found Eisenberg that are Christmas and um, the only thing that I've ever been asked about are these Czechoslovakian usually makes them Czech Christmas tree brooches that are usually around eight inches. They're huge, massive. Um, those are, the, if anybody has those, of course, that wants to get rid of them, I do have a market for that because they are exceptionally rare and beautiful. But Christmas jewelry, unfortunately, just is not a hit with, with my auction. This is cool. Sherelle, okay. This is in good shape. I'll take some Never Dull and try to shine all that up. Got those little thermoset pieces. That's nice. Yes, it is. Be 
beautiful earrings. Oh yeah, those are stunning. Very, very nice earrings. Those cups on the side, very, very well made. Definitely vintage. Princess jewelry brooch from West Germany. This might be like a silver filigree. And I'm guessing it's probably signed on the stick pin here. I'm actually going to keep this together. So I don't forget. Oh, Crown Trafari. Uh oh. Ooh, these are gorgeous. Yeah, there's your crown. Crown Trafari, these are in fantastic shape. Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. Beautiful amber rhinestones. Love them. Love them. Well, this is interesting. So like a lacquered wood. Very boho, MCM. I think somebody might appreciate that. Oh, this is a ring. Ooh, a very pretty ring. Beautiful stones. And it is signed. RM China um, Robert Moore Robert Lee Morris I don't know I'm gonna research that and take a look and see what I can find I don't think it's silver sterling earrings with Marcus sites I'm not gonna take them out because they tend to like to separate here and it's signed Eisenberg see that Eisenberg is a very good costume designer I've never seen that before I've never seen a piece that small before uh, very interesting Kramer uh oh one bead is broken that's no bueno can't do much with that it'll go in a lot let me see what I can do here Oh yeah, I see it. That might be a manganese glass bead. Let me look. No. Well, that's a pity. That's a pity. Oh well, let's keep going. Little elephanti. Let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy. Looks like she's gonna be Jade in there. Yeah, there you go. Let's see. Oh yeah. Well, maybe not. I'm turning you off. Yep, she's glowing. So we do have Jade. We have Jade, little Jade elephant, and this is probably gonna be gold. Probably a 10 carat. And it may not be gold. I'll have to test it and see. Oh, I see something. If you can see on the bell back there. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, it signed something in there. But it's probably going to be gold or gold vermeil. Or it may be nothing. I will test it and see. Hit it with the machine. See what we can see. Swarovski. Old dolphin pen. Yep, there's our swan right in there. Really pretty. Very cute. Do another big dive here. Let me get more out. Okay. 
10 karat and pearl studs, screw back vintage. Mmm, these are yummies. Look at those beautiful pearls. And they are actually glass, they're not genuine. And they are stamped 10K. How interesting. It's odd that they're not, but yeah, those are glass pearls. So, very cool. Very old closure. Crown Trafari. Oh yeah, these little basket weaves. These little guys like to drop out of my hand. Little basket weave, gold tone earrings, super cute. Antique celluloid, oh yeah. That's an old guy right there, for sure. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful celluloid. I'm gonna bend you back, there we go. Well, it was probably bent forward like that because it doesn't close all the way. Yep, there we go. All right, so cool. A brass and wood inlay bracelet, very kind of boho. Tiffany & Co. Sterling Stick Pin. Oh boy. Last year, um, late or mid-December, my mom and I had breakfast at Tiffany's, literally in New York. And the food was good. The experience was very fun, but not something I would go back for. It wasn't like out of this world. Okay. Tiffany and Co. Sterling. Interesting. I didn't even know they made hat pins or stick pins like this. So I will test it just to confirm, but I love this. How very cool. I'm going to do this off camera in case I stab myself and have to jump off. Okay. No fingers were harmed. Ooh, these are pretty. Now these do like to tangle those little dangly things, so I'm going to leave them in the box. Very pretty. Those are likely sterling. Three pair of earrings. Hold on, what? Three pairs, earrings, one purple stone, two green stone. Okay, I guess they were in the other box. But yeah, these like to um, like to tangle up. I don't know that those are actually sterling. I'll test them and make sure. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Sarah Coventry, I believe. Really nice piece. Very dangerous hook on it. <laughs> Let me pull the rest of this out. Fun little boxes and packages we've got going on. Oh, yeah, she's pretty. Oh, she's good. That's rhodium plating in the back. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Look at that beautiful rainbow moonstone. Oh, and we're stir. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be sterling. Ooh, this is nice. That's huge. That's, I mean, for a pendant, that's large. Two and a half, basically. Stunning. Very, very pretty. Look at this. Okay, light. Sorry, I have to look at the back first. Look at this design and this construction. 
unsigned, but oh boy, look at that. That is fantastic. It's in great shape. It's a very old paneled bracelet and it's got one, two, three. So a five panel. I'm not sure. I have an idea. It might be a pomme, um, but I will figure it out. But I love it. Anything big and chunky, I'm, I'm all for it. Uh-oh. Okay. A little filigree pen here with some little pearls. That's cute. There might be some writing on there. Let me look. No. Still very pretty though. Star Galaxy Jasper. Ooh, that's a gorgeous one. Now I don't think that's sterling. Yeah, I can almost guarantee you that is not sterling. This is that very copied by that company that is called 925. That's actually their hallmark. Um, but I don't think that this is going to be silver. I'll test it to make sure. But unfortunately, I don't think it's silver. Onyx Sphere with 14K. K. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <gasps> beautiful Damascene pen with matching earrings. I had a set go crazy in my last auction, so this should do the same, I hope. Mmm. This is more modern. It has a model number on it, which I don't understand. It's not super vintage, but it's not brand new either. Interesting piece. Brooch and earring set. Oh yeah, this is fun. Probably a gold filled. Maybe not. But a fun little set. A little Demi Peru. Super cute. I'm going to leave that in the box. And last but not least. Oh, we got a banger. Beautiful earrings. Oops. Some nice long dangles. Stones look really good. These are clean screwbacks. Oh, yeah. These are fantastic. All right. Man, we saw some nice old things. A mix of new here and there. So a really good um, consignment. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're interested in consigning your pieces with me, please reach out via email. My contact information is in the description box. See you guys next time.